let's see if I can do better than COVID. Hi YouTube, you just caught me taking a break and this is Papa Keeves. So, um, actually fully vaccinated ng household namin and we uh, si yung batang malit na lang since wala pa namang uh, available na vaccine for her age. So, pero at least for everybody that's um, parang pwede na ma-vaccinan is na-vaccinan na dito sa bahay na to. So, Um, papansin nyo, medyo maaga ngayon <laughs> as in, sobrang aga ngayon ako nagre-record uh, that's because um, as, ano, uh, nagpapahinga ngayon si Mrs. kasi nga um, uh, vaccines normally have side effects and yung sa kanya is more, more on ano, siguro fatigue uh, fatigue lang naman, so medyo pagod inaantok, so pinatulog ko muna kasabay niya, and this time around din, uh, nanap din naman si yung batang malikit namin, so sabay sila natulog ngayon, and naisip ko na since ako naman medyo nakarecover na kahapon kasi ako nagpa-vaccine uh, why not just record now para medyo mamaya hindi na ako masyado nagmamadali with, ano, with yung mga ibang gagawin ko so yun um, and related to the COVID vaccine naisip ko na ang going video for this week is a game where you play as a plague or a virus so this is the game all right this is uh plague inc um it's a game that uh lets you play as a as a plague um either you're a virus a bacteria um, kung ano pa mga pwedeng maging plague dyan. and then you're your ano your uh, goal is to spread to everybody and then kill everybody <laughs> yon ang pinaka goal mo sa game na to um tonto ako sa game na to kasi it's very ano very chill lang kasi it's uh, more parang in the vein of a strategy game uh, siguro pwede mo na sabihin base building game kasi you're upgrading yung parang plague mo your virus into something that will spread better, will kill will kill better. So parang ganun siya, it's chill game. And uh, I think this is the first game that I paid for. Pero mura lang naman siya, uh, nabili ko siya noon mga 150 lang. Um, this is hindi pa Steam sale to noon. It's a regular price niya. Noong Steam sale, I think 130 lang siya. So 'yon. Um, it's Ayun nga, so if you like RTS games, very chill games. Hindi siya hindi siya action oriented game, not, not not in the least. So if yun yung mga games na gusto mo, you might want to check this out. Mura lang naman. Pero you can also try it out on mobile. Um sa mobile free siya, pero madami siyang ads and meron siya mga parang mga types of viruses na hindi unlocked. So parang sobrang base game lang siya. So Uh, no, for this one, let's. You have options of single player, and this is what I usually play. Um, multiplayer, haven't tried it because wala akong kilala na naglalaro ng itong game na to. <laughs> so I haven't tried it. Scenario creator is basically your you make your own mods of the game. Um, siguro parang in the vein of yung mga earlier nung dati may yung Warcraft 3. Uh, if you can remember, Dota was a mod of Warcraft 3. So parang ganun lang siya. It's like a mini game na ginawa nila within ano within uh, the the base game. Ganyan yung scenario creator. Pwede mo siyang pwede kang gumawa ng either you make small tweaks to the base game para maging mas either mas challenging or mas madali or you make big changes where you can you actually parang you can actually make uh you can actually make a very different game from the base game so yun so I'll just go over siguro a quick run through of a game kasi pwedeng meron mga game uh, depending on your play style and kung anong difficulty laluruin mo you can have this game finish in roughly around 15 minutes pero meron mga games na tumatagal na mga siguro a couple of hours lalo na kung talagang pinag-aaralan mo lahat ng steps na gagawin mo so for the ano parang 
uh, new game or single player you have the main game so it's basically just the main game cure mode cure mode is a dlc na ano actually ang nakakatawa sa kanya is nung parang kasagsagan ng covid sa i think the us and wala pang vaccine it was free uh, it's as uh, they made it a free to parang free to play dlc parang parang to help with people who are, who are staying at home and bored and yung cure mode naman is kabalik tarahan ikaw naman yung uh, world health organization and you're trying to detect uh, control and actually eradicate a spreading plague in the world so ganun yung parang gameplay niya so that mga siguro couple of months ago nalaro ko pa siya free pero ngayon yan meron na siyang DLC DLC na talaga siya ay what did I do yun Speedrun, haven't tried it. Official scenarios. Ito yung mga parang uh, scenario created or mods created by the company itself. So ayan, may makita ka. Ito parang ibang iba to kasi you're this is you're you you're trying to spread your own fake news. You're trying to make your ultimate board game. Science denial, mad cow disease. So may mga ganun. Uh, those are parang the idea. Do, it gives you the idea. It gives you ideas on ha, wa, parang anong pwede mong gawin sa scenario creator. And for parang more user created scenarios, ito yun. These are the parang scenarios created by players na nakapost sa parang uploaded sa Steam. So yan. So you have Oh wow, okay, Trampitis, Beyond Human, Pokemon Go, so mga ganun. So for this one, we'll just play the basic game, vanilla game. Um, we'll play it. So here you have a choice of what type of uh, plague you are. You can either be a bacteria, virus, fungus, neurax, worm, parasite, prion, necrovirus, nanovirus, bioweapon, simian flu, and shadow plague. So, ito mga marks na to, this means that you've already completed at least one stage or one difficulty level for this type of virus. So, ito, hirap na hirap talaga ako dito. Uh, and this is parang a special type of virus na wala sa mobile. So, each of these viruses have special or uh, specific abilities, traits, and transmission ways na will differentiate them from each other and make one or the other either easier or di more difficult for you to play so start muna tayo sa first one this is actually the first one that's unlocked and you can play it it's the bacteria so you also can add some buffs to your ano to your plague so makita mo dyan um, i won't go into it parang in detail pero basta it th these are buffs for you when you start See, I just more. Oh, this will just be more of a overview. So since mag bibilisan lang natin yung playthrough, this will be a. I'll just go via. Eh, I'll just go casual. And ang nakatawa dito yung mga descriptions ng game difficulty. Uh, so you can see for casual, no one washes their hands. Research doctors don't work, and sick people, sick people given hugs. So again, guys, have a COVID fa. Wash your hands and don't give people hugs. Social distancing. So normal, you still have 67.3% of people wash their hands. Doctors work three, three days a week and sick people are ignored. Brutal, compulsive hand washing. Uh, doctors never go home and sick people locked in prison. Mega brutal. Tundi ko gets to. Genetic drift impacts evolution. Uh, doctors invest in research and random medical checkups. So yun. There are also cheats. Haven't I haven't checked this out, pero hindi ko lang po bakit may ganyan siya. Pero yun. Uh, let's start with casual. Ayan, nakapangalan na ang aking plague. Because I've been playing this a lot. So yan. When you start, uh, you have to parang figure out kung saan magustong mag-start na parang country. So, maraming mga strategies that go into parang what's the best country to start per for each plague type pero I won't go into that one I'll just start somewhere random siguro start tayo dito yay okay so yan uh, yan begins in the Philippines infected week but used to hot temperatures you have to take note of that so medyo mas malaka mas ano siya mas resilient siya in hot temperature uh, locations uh, it must evolve DNA points 
Yan. So, ito mga to, these are what you call DNA points. And dito, dito mo makikita yung number of DNA points that you have. And you use those DNA points to actually parang evolve or upgrade your virus or your bacteria. So, yan. Same thing. Uh, basta kung ano yung nagpa-pop up, just click on it para magkaroon ka ng mga DNA points. So, yan. So, wait lang tayo hanggang mapuno. And then, let's go into the disease. So, this is basically parang picture lang nung end um, performance nung ano mo, nung virus mo, uh, how many yung, ayan, like performance of your virus. This is your ways of transmission, how you spread. So, you can spread via bird, you can spread via uh, flea, uh, insect, blood, livestock, air and water so yun, tas may mga sec parang second or third levels of each tapos symptoms you get your symptoms, you coughing nausea, insomnia cyst and anemia and rash so basically yun yung mga parang first level of symptoms um, you have to actually be careful about how how fast you ano, you evolve your symptoms actually depending on your playstyle Uh, kasi the more symptoms na parang severe, mas mabilis madidetect yung virus mo. So, mas mabilis mabubuo yung parang cure para sa virus mo. So, and the abilities, basically just ano, parang ito, parang cold resistance, withstand cold temperature. So, malamang yung virus natin, since sanay siya sa hot temperatures, ito yung kailangan niya. Kasi innate na sa kanya yung pagiging uh, heat resistant. So, yun. Meron din yung drug resistance para hindi mab mabilis maapektuhan ng mga gamot na nagagawa. And this part is mostly uh, specific to which type of plague or plague type that you have. So, this is bacteria resilience. Create bacteria cell to protect against all time. It's parang ganun. Or, yun. So, pagkaganyan, I would I would forgo this, uh, this parang this tree and just go with this one. Kasi parang it protects against all time. It's naman. So, for now, um, ang target ko is to spread as fast as possible and to infect as many people as possible para and then no symptoms as much as possible para hindi ako hagad madetect. So, is spreading from person to person in the Philippines and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. So, yun nga. Indirectly mo siyang kikontrolin. So, yung kung saang country siya mag-spread spread or saan siya lilipat, hindi mo control yun. It depends on the types of upgrades that you put in. So, if you're upgrading via parang naglagay ka kunwari sa sa air transmission, it will ano, parang it will help you spread faster um, via planes or arid environments. Pa ganun. Ipot lang ako ng DNA points. At least 30. So para may di mo makita kung ilan na infected. So just 233 infected dito. So just keep upping the ante. All right, 33. So may mga hotkeys naman siya para space to pause, Q to ano to enter your disease window. So yan, dito na ako. So ako I would go with since technically the Philippines only has Ayan, so ano lang siya, accessible siya by uh, ports. Not sure why, pero yun lang. So we'll spread more on water. So ship transmission tayo and then I'll go with uh, drug resistance and bacterial resistance so yan, let's go para ma-change ma mo rin yung speed kung how fast the game plays so if ano, talagang quick game lang pwede mo nga yan, uh, pwede mo nga iganyan lang eh Pero, mahir nahabol po kasi yun eh. Yung mga parang DNA bubbles or parang points bubbles. Mahirap na habulin lalo na pagka marami nang lumalabas na ganyan. All over. 
So yan, uh, you have to also check on this kasi this also affects yung progress ng ano mo ng virus mo. So, ayun, nakita niyo yung red na parang ship from the Philippines going elsewhere. That means may carrier na lumabas dun sa country of origin and then lumipat sa iba and then nag, doon na nag-start mag-spread outside of the parang origin country. Yeah, so as noted here, yay! So we have infected Australia and uh, Japan. So mga niyan, mga turista, gusto mag vacation after COVID. <laughs> Ayan na, start na. See? And ang bilis na ng ano, ang bilis na ng up ng infected. So we're actually infecting faster now dahil nga nag-upgrade tayo nung ano natin nung plague natin so we just let them run like that and yan so dahil wala tayong masyadong symptoms we already infected 85 million people pero ngayon pa lang nila nakita na parang merong nag-spread spread na parang virus so parang that's 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 my style of playing parang ninja na hindi mo mapapansin na meron parang asymptomatic yun style ko so I just have them spread and then after nakapag-spread na ako sa madami doon na ako mag ano mag start with updating upgrading my symptoms yun so technically fully infected na ang Philippines so we're just so yan, nag-start na ng work ng cure kasi <laughs> dapat lang kasi 100% infected na yun sa country. So dito mo na makikita yung parang progress nung ano, nung cure. Yan ang hina, yan ang kalaban mo. Uh, you have to spread you parang you have to end your mission bago mag 100% ito. So yan. That's your target. So we're just letting it spread. Ayan, so maging tumaas na yung threat level natin. And we're just waiting for it to spread some more. Here we'll wait for... Ayan, apt. It's very apt. We have used the Olympics as a super spreader event. Tayla ako mag 50 points para mas marami ako na evolve in one go. Ayan, sa may may ano din, may parang may chance din na mag-evolve on its own yung virus mo. So, you can either keep the symptoms that you have or or you can keep the symptoms na nakuha mo randomly or pwede mo siyang i-devolve. So, Yan, ako ayoko na may symptoms ako para hindi ganun kabilis yung ano. Ay, nagkaroon pala ako ng isa. All right. So, may mga plague types that refund you uh parang refund you a few DNA points. Meron namang iba na cost you DNA points to actually devolve. So, you'd have to check on that. So, may 50 na tayo. We up the drug resistance again or the genetic hardening uh, para mas ma maba, mabawasan yung future research speed and then I'll up transmission again uh, magdagdag na tayo sa air kasi nakalabas na ng Filipinas yung ano dagdagan pa natin ng isa pang air faster spread and Bacterial Ayan, so nagkakaroon na ng parang mga research collaborations between countries. 
uh, to parang fight for uh, to fight your plague so para mo magal yung progress nila you just have to pop yung mga lalabas na blue uh, parang blue bubbles Ayan, so yun na yung sinasabi niya na parang ang dami mo na na-infect, wala ka namang ginagawa. Pero yun, uh, you need to evolve symptoms na merong mas severe or lethal effects para para matapos mo yung game. Parang ganun. Di ba chill game lang siya? So it's really just point, halos point and click game lang talaga siya. So hindi ka the action packed So minsan may effect 'yan, minsan wala. Yung mga lumalabas na news dito. Pero 'yan. Parang it adds flavor to the game. See, 25% na yung ano, yung cure. So Actually hindi pa naman ganoon ka alarming 'yan for us. So we just wait until makumpleto na yung Ayun, there are no pagkalumabas na 'yan For me, that means I start killing people. So, yan. Alright. So, I will start with either... I'll start with coughing. Tapos, hahanap ako yung... Parang merong sinasabi na increases death something. Yan. Can be lethal. So, up natin yan. Up natin yan. Ito may sometimes cause death. Sige. Can be fatal. Fatal tumor growth. Ayan. So, dami na tayo nilagay. done. Okay. So, yun. So, basically, ah, uh, yun. Uh, hindi ganun kadali talaga yung game. Uh, nakailang, actually, doon sa casual na yun, nung una ko nilaro to, nakailang tries ako to actually try to figure out paano talaga laruin yung game. And, as you progress dun sa bang parang difficulty levels, pahirap siya talaga sa pahirap as in. So, yun. So, you also get some, ano, yung sa marino nangyari. So, yun. Uh, again, yeah. That's it. So, that's that's the game. And yung pagka nananalo ka per level, you get to unlock uh, parang yung, yung mga buffs dun, before you start the game, you get to unlock those para mas, madali, mas dumali yung pag-tackle mo dun sa more difficult levels ng game. So, yun. Um, actually, that's it. That's, ano, uh, very... Again, it's a very chill game. Um, the good thing about it is it's relatively cheap for the other games na nandyan. Siguro for how it's designed, how it's, ano, how it's parang, yun yeah, how it's designed, siguro others might feel that 150 pesos is too much. Pero sa akin kasi it's more of the gameplay yung gusto ko sa kanya. So, I think the 150 pesos is equal to a lot, a lot of gameplay hours para sa game na to. So, sa akin, okay lang siya. It's a good trade-off. And, might not be for you, pero there might be people who are like me who enjoy these types of games. So, yun. Um, again, uh, this is Plague Inc. Evolved. Available. Ako, nakuha ko siya sa Steam at 150 pesos. Um, pa ba? So, yun lang. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and uh, if you like the video click like if you dislike the video dislike uh, if you have any comments questions suggestions uh, just put them on the comment sections below if you want to check on my previous videos just subscribe to the channel and check on my video library and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button if you want to be notified pagka nag upload na ako ng video ko next week and I think, yeah, that's it. Uh, this is another Papa Keeves recommends. I highly recommend uh, Plague Inc. Evolved. And hope you can chill with me again next week when the stay-at-home dad takes another break. Bye.